<laughs> All right, so can everyone hear me? All right, can everyone hear me now? <laughs> um, is anyone out there a business also studying, studying in the School of Business at all? Hands? Okay. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so I was a finance major, and I minored in Spanish and Environmental Studies. And I'm currently a business analyst at GE Capital. I've been there for about one and a half years. And before that, I was in a rotational program also at GE in the energy financial services business. Um, so I'll get into a little bit about what I do later. But um, I, as a junior, I received an email from the Dolan School of Business, and it said, apply for this internship at energy financial services at GE. And I thought, wow, that's perfect. It, combines my fields of study with the finance and environmental. And you know, when I chose my major and minors, I just did what I was passionate about and never thought that I could find something that would combine them. So that was awesome. I went for it, um, got the internship. Um, and I really, I do think that maybe having the language experiences that I had at Fairfield on my resume may have helped me to get that initial interview. Um, just being a Spanish minor, and then um, I study abroad in Seville, Spain. Um, and then also, just a funny story, side note, I came in as a freshman at Fairfield, went to the activity fair. I was all excited to sign up for all the clubs and activities. And I went around and I said, where's the Spanish club? And people said, oh, I don't think we have a Spanish club. So I decided to start a Spanish club, and it was just a low-key, fun thing to um, you know, keep Spanish culture and um, speaking alive on campus. So um, just having that on my resume, I think maybe have you know differentiated me from other candidates applying to the internship. Um, so at the end of the summer, I received a full-time offer for um, after graduation, which I was very excited about. Um, I loved my time there. Uh, so after graduation, I started the program, which was two years. Um, and you rotate between different types of energy and different types of business within the company. So um, you're able to choose your top three choices. And for my second rotation, I chose the international portfolio team. Um, and I basically sought out opportunities to use my Spanish because I'm so passionate about it and I didn't want to lose it. Um, so I basically made it known that I wanted to work on any deal that was in a Spanish-speaking country or any opportunity I had to do anything involved with Spanish. So um, some examples of things I got to do, I got to translate some legal documents into, from Spanish to English, which was really fun for me. <laughs> um, I also was, like I said, put on deals in Spanish-speaking countries. So I worked on a cogeneration plant in Mexico. I worked on solar farm in Spain. Um, amongst others, and um, for example, one of um, the deals we had to do a ne negotiation with a Spanish-speaking team, and um, my team, you know, we were negotiating in English, but they would have, the team we were negotiating with would have side conversations in Spanish, so my team kind of looked to me to ask what they were saying or kind of <laughs> get an idea of what was going on in their little side conversations. So just things like that have been really fun opportunities for me. And I feel like um, adding those to my daily work, it's something that I'm passionate about, something that I'm really interested in. So it really helps me to commit and you know succeed more in the workplace. So I encourage you all, wh whatever field you go into, to you know really find something you're passionate about and work towards that. Um, so I mentioned I studied abroad in Seville, Spain. And that's where I really worked on my fluency. I lived with a host family. Um, I also was on the swim team at Fairfield here, so um, going abroad, my first priority was to find a team to train with. So um, I found a team to train with in Seville, and that was one of the most intimidating experiences of my life and one of the most incredible experiences. Um, I walked into the team, they, they really didn't speak English at all, and I didn't know any swimming terms, obviously. And um, the, the team was, all the swimmers my age were like, who is this American butterfly girl coming to take our spot? And I tried to tell them, no, I, I'm just here to stay in shape. I'm not trying to take anyone's spot. And they really, it was hard for me to fit in. Um, but they ended up being lifelong friends. And I was just talking to one of them yesterday. So um, 
really, if you do get the chance to study abroad, really go out of your comfort zone. It will be worth it, I promise. And you may have an amazing experience. Um, and as far as careers, if you have that on your resume or you bring it up in an interview, you never know who may be the hiring manager that may have studied abroad and um, is really impressed with your ability to step out of your comfort zone and try new things. Um, and then just some tips. I really, really um, can't stress enough networking, networking, networking. I'm sure you guys have all heard that a million times. But um, you know, once I was in GE, um, that's how I continued to go to the next rotation that I wanted was through networking. You know, hey, can I just grab a coffee with you, hear about what you do? Um, that's how I was able to get my first choice for the next rotation. And then um, ultimately, my current job, I switched from Energy Financial Services to GE Capital Americas. Um, it's all through networking. So um, can't stress that enough. And take advantage of all Fairfield has to offer, the Career Planning Center, um, any clubs and activities um, within the modern languages um, area, and career fairs, things like that. So thanks.